Hello everybody. Every year on January 26, we Indians celebrate Republic Day with utmost pride and zeal. It's high time to stop telling our children that today is Republic Day and that's why it's your holiday. It's time to tell them about the meaning of the Republic and why we celebrate Republic Day each year. We got our independence in 1947 from British rule. But there was a lack of substantial constitutional system and political experts to run the state of us seamlessly. It took nearly 2 years, 11 months and 17 days to create the constitution of India and therefore we celebrate the January 26th as our Republic Day on which the constitution of India came into effect. This day is celebrated with much fanfare and grandeur all over India. Now, it's very important to tell what is constitution. In simple words, it's a rule book of a nation. It gives us our rights and duties. Do you know one thing? Our constitution is the largest, longest handwritten constitution in the whole world. The original copy was written by the calligrapher Bihari Narain Raizad in a flowing italic style. Each page was beautifully decorated by the Shantiniketan artists. The original copy is preserved in the Philium filled cases in the library of Parliament of India. On January 26, 1950, Dr. Rajendra Prasad officially began his tenure as the first president of Democratic India at the Darbar Hall of the Government House. The first grand Republic Day parade was held in 1950 in the Irving Amphitheater. Every year there is a ritual of inviting a special chief guest for our Republic Day. In that way, the chief guest for our first Republic Day celebration was the Indonesian President Soekarno. Our first Republic Day celebration started by resounding 31 gun salute. Here is an interesting cartoon picture which was published in the Hindustan Times in 1950 here are um, B R Ambedkar holding the infant republic of india among all the leaders while the mother india lays in the bed proud to be an indian thank you